well. Things are going downhill for me. I started getting it. I felt like my world was spinning. I thought I was going to die. I'm not even in that This is not my best moment. Uh, literally was. Chocos, it's Halima here and I'm popping in quick before the start of this video to tell you guys that I'll be narrating some of the things that are happening because I didn't do such a great job at recording this. I was having fun but I will be narrating from the future and you guys will get to enjoy the story as we go. So let's start the video. Hello everyone, it's Halima here and Today, we're visiting Banana Island in Sierra Leone. So this is my first time ever going to this island. I've wanted to go there for so long, but we're going there today and hopefully everything goes well. I'm so scared because I was expecting that the place would be like a really nice place to relax and enjoy. I mean, it is, but apparently it involves a lot of walking and touring and all that other stuff. So I would change my outfit. But, but, I'm excited to go. This is my first time and I've always wanted to explore that island. I've always wanted to go there and see what it's about and everything that is there. I'm so sleepy right now because everybody in the house just connived to make sure that I don't get any good sleep. It was a team effort. It was a team effort. And it did well because I am so sleepy. And we're actually late. We were supposed to go a few minutes ago, but... As per usual, the people that I'm going with, I know that I will be late, so I'm not even bothered, I'm not. This is the outfit, this is the look, I'm wearing this skirt, I will show you guys the full outfit. I'm wearing this skirt, this thing that I wear on that to modestify my outfit. This shirt that I tuck in here, I don't know if this looks good. And this scarf that I'm actually going to change now to this, I don't, I don't know if it's, it will look good, but let's try it out. Okay, so this is the look sweating because i've been going up and down but after so much stress and indecision i actually made a decision to change the headscarf this one looks much more cohesive with the look not wearing the skirt anymore wearing these pants and i'm going for more of a casual look because it's just for videos so i'm actually really scared hopefully nothing bad happens on the island we don't get stranded or anything here are the expectations for this trip I want to have fun, I want to make good memories, I want to film it, hopefully good weather and just a really nice fun time. And of course, food. So you guys will be seeing what we eat, what we see, what exactly we explore, what it's about. I might even go into detail about some things that we learn about the place. So stay tuned for that. Overall, this is just a light-hearted video. It's just fun. We're not actually going there to know about the place and explore and do this. We're just going there to have fun and do it for the plot. Just explore. <laughs> Hopefully, we actually make it because I'm doubting the whole trip if we're going to go. Since the people that I'm going with are just very... <sighs> But hopefully it works. Hopefully it happens. So I will see you guys on the way to Banana Island. But first, let me show you guys my whole outfit. Okay, so this is what we're wearing to Banana Island. I have this shirt and this undershirt that I always wear. And of course, these pants. They're my trusty, crusty pants. Obviously, I wore them for my birthday. You can go check that vlog. I also have my sneakers. I got this recently to exercise, but I've never exercising them <laughs> i did go once up to the lesser the hill i did go once so yeah i have used them for their purpose once but of course i also have jewelry this gold ring and this necklace that i bought recently the scarf chose this blue one that matches the whole fit and then my crusty trusty dusty musty bag that i always wear so it's this tote bag it's actually very worn out you can you can tell it's well loved it's very easy to hold and it takes quite a lot of things so let's go to banana island and explore this place with this so these are the people i'm going with one is all the way back there come back here. speak ally 
this is Samuel. <laughs> Samuel, <laughs> speak. Why not ally? <laughs> 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 Cocktails in hand. The mm -hmm. alcoholic people, and they also just so happen for the wear glasses, visually impaired. Mm -hmm. That's not. That's not. Mm. Correlates. This correlates. Adi, keke this we can go to we. This not Samuel. Yeah. Oh, look how pretty. Oliver, na beard boy. Yes, classics. What? I mean, people and, think Oliver is serious being. and also shocking. So serious but... Doggy, doggy, doggy. That's literally the dog's name. Doggy, doggy. Peasant. Peasant. Another peasant. Apparently, we saw this. So, hopefully, they don't make we get down and get all that mutka. Anyway, this journey so far, just so many things will happen. We don't see, we don't see two people in We don't leave this world. We can't meet up accident. You can say that. You want us to not die. You want us to not die. But it's like really, really bad. So, I don't know. Hopefully, we get, we get there safe. We get very safe for that angle actually me from the future again and they let us cross obviously this is Sierra Leone. we had such a beautiful journey the scene was amazing so peaceful we got to see a lot of nature and the street was empty so it was just a smooth ride all the way <laughs> here at Kent Beach I didn't know this but this is where you come to get a boat to cross with you to the banana island I actually never knew that we had to go through a boat ride to banana island so the more you know the more you know this works. This is the beach. It's very beautiful, Kent Beach. It was actually really empty, but this is not how it normally is. The guys around, they were talking to us, making fun, and they even promised to show us where they had the slaves. But we didn't have time for that. Anyway, we got to explore the beach, took some pictures, some really great pictures. Okay, traveler. Oh my god, it's so cool. a struggle crossing on the rocks to go the other side but we did it and when we got there they hit us with a banger like a huge banger why we may not have a video graphic here for the they told us that the price for crossing as well as the tour and life jackets they never give us life jackets at the end of the journey they never give us but they promised that they're going to do all that for 500 leons Yes, 500 leos just to cross. That was insane. And before we got there, the friend that we asked told us that it was 120. So that is the budget that we had. So now everything has been increased for 500 leos each. 500 leos per person. So can you can imagine the amount of stress that we had. Before even talking to them, we were so confused. So we decided to just explore. Look at the island right over there. Hello. 
on the air and now it's a bad thing. So if possible, say this video, we're not even there for Siam because we're not even going to the camera. But we're here and we both there. We're here, we're just waiting. Five minutes is just too much. But we're here! So I don't know what I'm going to say and explore. Can it be? I don't video you, I don't video you. So I don't can get some shells as a gift from this kind man, Mr. James. God. So now you said a smile so we and of course they give me back this sea stone. Yes, sea stone. Now you get that all for you, okay? Yes. So you look at look how pretty, look how pretty this is. And now we got pearl inside. No pearl. I don't know. <laughs> and then the small one. I don't know. I bad. It doesn't go for twice. We got food inside. We got food inside. Not so that okay. cockle that you put inside okay. the bag. Like that cockle? Yeah. Oyster. 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 Oh, cockle. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Girl. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> at the end we obviously talked to them i was the chief negotiator <laughs> i believe it was 250 that we ended up paying that's a lot that's a lot i believe that we were actually scammed so tell us in the comments if we were scammed i don't know if it's because there were less people or it's just they saw us as rich kids i don't know i don't know but they scammed us and they got what they wanted so good for them good for them I sat on a yacht. <laughs> I sat on a yacht in Sierra Leone and it wasn't even in the sea. Oh, it was just a packed yacht. But I sat there and I took some pictures. It was really nice. It was really nice. I made some friends. As you already know, Mr. James. Mr. James, if you're watching, no, Mr. James is not watching this. <laughs> but I made some friends. It was really nice. I had so much fun with them. And it was one of them that actually carried me on the boat when it was finally time to leave. They never gave us a life jacket, as I said, but they carried us and I gave them 20 leons to share. Maybe that's why they thought we were rich kids. <laughs> oh, anyway, I did that. So we were now on the way. So we are there. We are Okay, I've been thinking I'm confident enough for Kandia, but... You're not confident? I'm going to give you a shake right now. Uh, we're going to Banana Island! Look, we're literally underwater! We're underwater! We saw this beautiful ocean. Oh god, it was beautiful at first, really. I'm saying at first for a reason. It was beautiful, I had so much fun. We were just looking out there, we were just endless sea. And when we were going, I was so, so scared. And I was not the only one. Every one of us was scared. Samuel was scared. Baki was scared. We were trying to be brave, taking pictures and everything. And we did not know what to do because we were at sea with these two people. And in my head, I was thinking, are these people going to sell us? If they sell us now, nobody would know where we are. And we'll just, this is the end for us. Those are the kind of thoughts that I have. So it's not good. It's not good. Salaman!
after a while, things start going downhill for me because after a while, the whole sea going up and down, I started getting seasick and it was so bad. I felt like my world was spinning. I thought I was going to die. Guys, I'm not even exaggerating. I was, I was, uh, obviously I couldn't film at that point. Although I was so brave enough to do a little snippet of the little mommy just because the, the environment was right. Sunday. After that, I just lay down on Samuel's lap and that was for me the whole time until we got there. I couldn't raise my head up to see and I was just praying that we get there soon. And when we finally arrived, I was so excited that we decided to do this little da -da -da. Bye -bye. Okay. She literally wants to be sick. Mm -mm -mm. Banana island. <sighs> We're here on the island. I was seasick the whole time. So tired. But we're here. This is Banana Island. As you can see, we have some rooms here. And we're having a little tour. It's a baby. But it looks really nice. There's so many things, so many plants, such nature, the bungalows you can see. Let me show you guys, let me show you. we got to look at the school that is currently there and i got to ring the bell i don't know if this is a slave bell or it's just a school bell but i got to ring it and it was very exciting After that we just walked around at that point i was so tired obviously the seasickness and for some reason i didn't eat anything the whole day because i was hoping to buy it from the restaurant yeah <laughs> mom <laughs> you nigga get me my food after all that when we got to the restaurant <laughs> oh, there was no food there was literally nothing and it was empty <sighs> The only thing available were chips. Me and my hungry self just given chips. Obviously, I ordered the chips. And while they were making the chips, we went out to explore and see the ocean. And we also asked for the activities that they had. They had scuba diving, whale watching. I'm going to have to experience that to believe it. But obviously, we weren't prepared for any of that. We didn't bring the money for any of that. After they stamped us in that boat ride, they just reduced our funds exponentially. But we made it and we had so much fun. We looked at the place and we got to know some information that would be useful for my next trip. So if you want to know any of that information, you can comment below what you want to know and I'll try to answer your questions.
after all that the boat ride people were just really really urgent for some reason they were trying to get us back because the seas level was rising and the water was getting rough that's what they said i was just willing to go i was ready hi guys i'm much better now i actually wanted to eat something because since this morning i haven't eaten anything but they didn't have any food they just had fries so that is that is what i got it was um sweet potato fries and it was 70 leons <laughs> i just i just had to because i was so hungry and then i'm having cranberry juice it was a good experience we got to take some pictures got to see the island learn a bit about what it's about i've definitely come back here another time we're leaving now i'm not full obviously but i've eaten something and i'm drinking cranberry juice so i feel better yeah One fact we don't know so far about the island. Um, we have a church and the bell of the church was used by the slavers. Massa to call slavers to come to church. That's so sad. Give one fact we don't know about this place. We can't remember. <laughs> they can't remember. We can't remember. Ah. They're gone. They're gone with anybody use. They ain't canons there. What is that? Anybody use for shooting slavers. I don't know if I tell you that they believe this. Not only. I don't know if I tell you that day. Why did they shoot me? Like, why do we want it for? You can't, cannot. No, no, no. No, my quality. Well, I remember that bell. That bell where they say. There'll be titans there. That bell where they say that they call you slaves there for good church. Yeah. So they shoot the slaves? No, that cannon that they use for They say that the slaves are in Nigeria. They shoot them. They shoot them. With cannons? Well, <laughs> then I tighten them. Let that French. Imagine after all this, they can't be safe back in here, correct? Hello. 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 <laughs> that was basically it and of course whilst we were leaving i decided to just lay down already because i didn't want the seasickness to hit me whilst we were going back because it was a long way Land -ho! <laughs> That is it guys for the banana island video i hope you guys loved it i hope you had fun watching it with me stay tuned make sure you subscribe because i will be having part two of this wherein i go in depth and we actually explore the place and get to do some of the things that they offer maybe even stay in a room or just explore go scuba diving do something <laughs> So you guys will see that video i actually have it planned already so thank you guys for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys so much bye bye